Curriculum Vitae is a 1975 short documentary film by Krzysztof Kieślowski, probably one of his most unusual documentaries. In fact, it's an experimental documentary in more way ways than one. It's a film that was actually quite famous in its time, very much discussed, very much controversial. It was mid-70s in Poland when Kieślowski decided to make it. What we see in the film is a man by the name of Antoni Gralak who faces a party commission, a communist party commission that is to evaluate whether he should remain in the ranks of the party or whether he should be expelled from the party. He needs to tell them the story of his life, the story of his entire life. And this is a trope that we know very well from uh, other Kieślowski's films, such as The Office that he made in 1966, in which the characters were asked to tell the entire story of their life. So this is exactly what Antoni Gralak does. He sits there, he faces the commission, and he tells his complicated life story, full of political choices, uh, also marked by entering the Communist Party, and by the constant struggle to do something of value as a member of society, even though the party itself proved to be far from perfect throughout the years. The commission is quite gruff, they are not very pleasant to Antoni Gralak and they keep asking him difficult, unpleasant and highly intrusive private questions and the feeling is completely authentic. However, what you see on the screen is not fully documentary. You may recall that a character in Calm from 1976 was also called Antoni Gralak. And this may be a clue that Antoni Gralak in Curriculum Vitae is not really a full, fully real character. He is an actor. He is an actor who reads texts that was prepared for him by Kieślowski, who combined several different life stories of party members for him to memorize and to present, and here comes in the documentary value, the real documentary value of the film, he presented the story to a real party commission. So on one side of the table you have real party commissars who are really evaluating Antony, but Antony is actually an actor who is playing a role. By combining this fictional and documentary approaches, Kieślowski created a very unique situation in which the party commissars actually engaged with a fictional life story. However, the life story was very redolent of many, many lives of people who were trying to work and act within communist system, but were disappointed time after time, like the character in Blizna, the Scar from 1976, or I don't know from 1977. So in a way, in this film, Kieślowski is trying to combine both strategies, documentary and fictional. And what, what comes out is very unique, very special. It was also turned briefly into a stage play directed by Kieślowski in Teatr Stary in Kraków. And really it's a film that presents the main subjects of Kieślowski cinema in one half hour piece.